Welcome back everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 1990 Aston Martin Lagonda. Now this has 1,515 horsepower, 1,101 pounds-feet of torque from a 7-litre twin turbocharged V12 engine. The car itself now weighs 3,983 pounds, has all-wheel drive and it can now do 0-16 seconds and 0-104.397 seconds. So this is the third Aston Martin that we've had on this series so far with the Valkyrie and the DBS preceding this. Uh, Valkyrie got to 277 miles an hour and the DBS got up to 275 miles an hour so they were both really rather quite quick but I'm not expecting this to be in the same league as those because this is obviously a lot older and despite some weight saving still is an extremely heavy car uh, for some, whatever reason the all-wheel drive system and this much bigger engine has added a ton of extra weight uh, to the point where we only weigh about 600 or so pounds less than what we did originally so uh, yeah, that weight is definitely going to hold it back. But nonetheless, let's get out there and see what it can do. So yeah, the weight certainly doesn't hold it back in terms of acceleration. So it accelerates a lot better than it did originally. In fact, this can do 0-100 quicker than the car could ever do 0-60. to to 40, we've not used this engine for a while by the way, so uh, it's nice to see it back, to 50, to 5, yes, no, no, as far as this corner is concerned, that's for sure, but we will get there, yep, now, so that's good, can we get up to 260 at the very least? He's absolutely screaming at the moment. Now we're going to gain speed now because we are going downhill, so yeah, take what speed we get with a pinch of salt. It's about what we get on the flat part. That is 266. Screwing a little bit of it off now. 265. 265. So yeah, that's 10 mile an hour slower than the DBS, which was originally the slowest Aston Martin we had, and 12 mile an hour slower than the Valkyrie, but still, for a car that still weighs nearly 4,000 pounds and uh, is obviously, um, yeah, more than 30 years old, that is uh, fairly impressive, but yeah, still way behind those kind of vehicles that I've mentioned from Aston Martin before, but 265 does mean we match the likes of the Ford Supervan 3, the Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat is slower than we are, as well as the ATS GT, the Lamborghini Espada 400 GT, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 3 GSR, the Mazda 323 GTR, and the Lotus Esprit Turbo, original Chevrolet Corvette, and the Lamborghini Countach, the uh, reimagined version from 2021. We are slightly behind though, the likes of a Mercedes Benz 300 SL Coupe. Bentley Turbo R, which is about kind of the same class and similar age as this, as well as a Shelby GT500 from 1967, a Toyota GR Super, an Eagle Speedster, and a Dodge Charger from 1970. So, uh, yeah, kind of on the low end side of things when it comes to the leaderboard overall there, which is a bit unfortunate, but I still really, really like this car, and I still maintain it's one of the m most unique and uh, more, you know, original Aston Martins that have been made. And uh, yeah, it's a real treat to have it in the game, even if it's not going to be the most useful car to have in the game. But still, fantastic to have it in the game, regardless of any uh, use that it's going to have or not. But still, you can get this in the current festival place for 20 points, so get out there and get it while it's still there. Because like I said, it is well worth getting, and uh, yeah, more unique and uh, odd cars like this, as far as I'm concerned, should be added to the game. Nonetheless, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.